What's up guys? I am back and this time I am using Levia Kazuya. Levia is the newest character which has come to closer and I wanted to play with her since uh, we never got to do a reset of things. Each one of these characters have their own introduction and everything so I wanted to do it for her. So let's go ahead and start. <laughs> Alright, let's get this going. Let's get the ball rolling. Now, I'm not sure how her uh, moves are set or anything, but as soon as I saw that there was another cutscene and everything for these characters, I went ahead and, and shut up. <laughs> <웃음> 역시 우리 벌처스는 대단하다니까요. 내 현지 위치를 아는 걸 보니 당신이 홍시영 감시관인가 보군. 맞아요. 이제부터 당신이 대장으로 있는 늑대계 팀을 한동안 감시하고 통제하게 됐어요. 늑대계 팀은 현재 전력의 대부분을 상실한 상태예요. 지난번에 그 사건 때문에 말이죠. 전력이 부족해진 결과 대장인 당신은 대원들과는 다른 임무를 진행하게 됐어요. 저는 당신 대신 현장에 나가서 늑대계 팀을 통제하게 됐고요. 계획의 원활한 진행을 위해 어쩔 수 없이 취한 조치예요. 그러니 너무 섭섭하게 생각하지 마세요. 섭섭하게 생각한 적 없어. 우리는 지시에 복종할 뿐이요. <웃음> 듬직하군요. 그나저나 지금 대원들의 파일을 확인 중인데 아, 벌써부터 위가 아파오네요. 많은 처리 부대를 감시해봤지만 이 정도 골칫덩이들을 다뤄보는 건 저도 처음이에요. 게다가 진심인가요? 사건의 원흉인 차원종을 임시 대원으로 쓰겠다는 것 말이에요. 일시적인 조치요. 상비 허가는 받았어. 뭐 회사의 방침이 그렇다면 저도 따르죠. 원활한 통신을 위해 최신의 뻐꾸기를 지원해드리겠어요. 감시관으로서 내리는 첫 번째 지시예요. 뻐꾸기를 이용해 늑대계 팀의 대원들에게. 즉시 강남으로 집합하라고 지시해 주세요. 그리고 저도 그들의 실력을 알고 싶어요. 그러니 오는 길에 강남 근처에 출연한 차원종들과 가볍게 교전을 치르라고도 전해 주세요. 알겠소. 지시에 따르겠소. 안 그래도 막 이쪽도 계획이 1단계가 끝난 차례. <웃음> 마음에 안 드는구나. 인간 따위와 손을 잡게 되다. 마음이 안 들긴 이쪽도 마찬가지다. 차원정. 하지만 우리 피자 내일 뿐이지. 내는 주인의 명령에 복종한다. 현장에 도착한 모양이군. 우선은 강남 일대에 출연해 있는 차원정 잔등을 처리하는 작업을 시작해라. 같은 차원정이라고 해서. 봐주는 일이 없도록 해라, 레비야. 정말 싸워야 하는 건가요? 잘못하면 지난번처럼 제 힘이 폭주할지도 모르는데. 이러면 그 자리에서 너를 처분할 따름이다. 쓸모가 없는 도구는 필요가 없으니 공격과 점프를 잘 활용해서 일대의 적들을 처리하도록. 네, 지시에 따르겠어요. Z 키로 공격, X 키로 점프를 할수 있습니다. <laughs> the reason I'm not like, going to read it, honestly, is because you all have, honestly, um, well, you should have seen, um, the way I play with my other girls. <laughs> I did 
임의로 처리 작업을 중단하지 마라, 레디야. 이번에는 스킬을 사용해서 적을 처리해 보도록. 알겠어요. 계속 싸울게요, 트레이너님. 레벨 업하면 스킬에서 스킬을 배울 수 있습니다. 스킬은 일반 공격보다 훨씬 강력하며 기본 공격을 캔슬하고 즉시 발동할 수도 있습니다. 스킬 레벨이 올라갈수록 공중 발동이나 스킬 캔슬 같은 특수한 기능을 가져. 특정 위치에 캐릭터가 도착하면 자동으로 사이킹 무브를 시전하여 맵을 이동합니다. 강제 캔슬 스킬은 평상시에도 전방위 공격 스킬로 사용할 수 있다. 하지만 쿨 타임이 기니까 주의하도록. 그, 그렇군요. 가르쳐 주셔서 감사해요, 트레이너님. 그래. 그러셨군요. 잠깐 그러셨. 캐릭터가 도착하면 자동으로 사이킹 무브를 시전하여 맵을 yeah. 이동합니다. 원종인가? 음, 아직 남아 있었나 보다. 유니언 클로즈의 처리 능력은 결국 인정되지. 비급 차원종은 국소 지역의 이하의 차원종 소환하는 지역에 그만큼 강력한 위상력을 가지고 있지. 방심하지 말고 처리에 임하도록. 너무 무서워요. 지시라면 따르겠어. Definitely the finisher move. <laughs> Using that powered state. I key to the end. Inventory for the new system. It's on I can do this. No, they must get angry with him. Tutorial complete. <laughs> now I think all the um, quests and stories for all the characters are different so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be having these different runs for these receive missions from NPCs in a hub. You can receive or complete a mission by clicking. See, Miss Kim is what you have for the closures, but since we're not playing during the closure side and everything, we 
have see welcome to the closers open beta this is the um beta Boxes is a great company Night trainer mission anchors Kitai. Dr. John. So she's there for everybody, not just um, this character. I didn't know you could go up here at first. That's a dimensional material conversion. <coughs> And since the character is more of a tool, like pretty much like they're using her like a tool, you can hear it in the music. The other music that we have for our character was more upbeat and everything, and we had a choice in what we were doing and everything. And this character, when we was going through our character like story and everything, we seen that Michael had uh collar on them and so did the guy at the beginning of that cutscene so these these collars is what's like limiting people aliens and humans alike so who's ever behind this is like bigger than just just the aliens attacking here are the orders listen up we meet again dimensional monster well i guess i should call you by your name how are you levia i'm okay the clothes and gear you got for me fit me very well that's not what I meant. I want to know if you're going to let yourself rage out of control and hurt the people around you again. Let me ask you again. How are you, Dimensional Monster? I'm okay and that'll never happen. Please trust me. It's okay if you can't help yourself. I can always activate the Dimensional Pressure Generator circle around your neck and turn it up to the maximum level. You're a Dimensional Monster, but even you can't survive something like that. You could have killed... I could have killed you when you butchered my men in the Wolf Dogs team. <laughs> I did it because I needed someone to replace them. You better earn your keep. Yes, sir. Thank you for your generosity. I do my best not to disappoint you. You're a dimensional monster and you're more polite than the humans you killed. Anyway, thanks to you, the Wolf Dogs team is now all but non existent. I should have been there, supervising operations, but instead I'm here, carrying out a mission because there's no one else left to do it. In the meantime, I'll be using the Cuckoo, a patrol robot developed by our employer, Vulture Coast, to instruct you from here. See, uh, Vulture Co. is the company that the guy said he was from which was to actually who partners up with the closers our main character is part of the closers he's a temp closer anyway and our character is this character is part of the vultures and aside from the cuckoo vulture coast sent someone over there to oversee operations in my place I'll still be one to give you urgent orders, but the rest of the time you have to follow her instructions. Go report to Supervisor Shia. Those are your orders for now. Over and out. Here are the new orders for Vulture Co. Oh, you must be Lavia. Nice to meet you. I'm Shia Ho, the Disposal Unit Supervisor from Vulture Co. We supervisors join Disposal Units during their operations in case they experience problems to help contain them. Your team, the Wolf Dogs, recently lost most of its members. I came to keep an eye out for you guys. Nice to meet you, love ya. You're a dimensional monster, but I'm not going to treat you differently from the other team members. Oh, nice to meet you too, Supervisor Shia. Now, I expect you to treat me as bad as you like. I'm a dimensional monster, after all. By the way, why are you holding out your hands? Am I supposed to do something? The researchers at the lab must not have taught you about handshakes. We humans hold... Humans hold hands... Shake hands as a gesture of goodwill. Oh, I see. Thank you for teaching me, Supervisor Shia. Now, what am I supposed to do? I'll do anything you say. <laughs> I like that you're so eager to please, Olivia. Okay, let me give you your mission right now, right away. Here are the new orders for Vulture Co. So let me give you your first mission. A few hours ago, Dimensional Monster showed up here near Gangnam vicinity, and a closing team named the Black Lambs responded to the situation. See, this is happening during the same period. We're, we are currently in the back lambs, and our main character is the son of the person that pretty much stopped the Great War long ago. 
that was like what 30 years 30 years ago and opposed to the black yeah the black lambs that name sounds like something warm and comfy disposal disposal units like the wolf dogs usually double check the areas that the union closure seems clear they collect the remains of dimensional monsters or eliminate remaining dimensional monsters to ensure safety i see thank you for teaching me supervisor shia <laughs> You don't have to thank me every time I tell you something. Being too polite can make people uncomfortable, you know. For now, I want you to go to Gangnam Station to get rid of the remnants of dimensional monsters there. Unmanned, rem Unmanned remain collectors will follow you to collect the remains of the monsters you take care of. Now off you go. Show me how good you are as a wolf dog. <laughs> We've already went through this, so we don't really need that anymore. Oh, by the way. Your commander trainer said he has a gift for you. He said it's a souvenir. Go and get it. <laughs> this is your souvenir. Take it. This box? What's inside, trainer? This souvenir is what the union gives to new closures. According to the rules, you would have never received it. But there are times when the union gives these to the disposal, disposal unit through unofficial routes. It's a price we charge for giving them non-standard gear for their closures through unofficial routes. I see, so this is what the closures use. Are you sure I can have this? You have to get stronger with it, since we need a stronger and more useful tool. Inside the souvenir box, you will find a small box, and inside that small box, an even smaller box. Every time you gain a certain amount of experience, you will get to open a box, and inside it, there will be another box. Boxception, as we like to call it. This box is designed to encourage your growth, so use it as a means to get stronger. As you all know, within a box, there is a box, within a box, within a box. But within that box is not a box, but some experience to open another box. Okay, I'll follow your orders. Good, continue obeying like that, Olivia. That's it. You may go back to your work. Okay, I got a costume. We know about costumes, but we don't know about the female costume. Got different looks and all that. So let's go ahead. Costume manager icon. Costume manager has these functions. Costume looker, the outfits and all that. I'm pretty sure it's just the cat ears and everything, like usual. And this is our skin customizations that we did last time on our character. I gotta open this. The support bag. There we go. Got snow bunny ears. I'm gonna keep this over here. Then we got our costumes. <coughs> now the bunny ears will suit her more than the cat um, outfit. So, I will be using the bunny ears and everything. But we can also do this, and I'll look at all the clothing and items and everything. So let's go ahead and get to doing this stuff. Now, I don't know if, what is this? Teamwork buff, black lambs, boom, boom, bam, like this. This is the power of all that.
Okay, so her move set is basically a one direction type thing. She has grapples also, but I also set it to um, advance. Like as an advanced closer, because I pretty much got the gist of how I play the game earlier for the previous couple hours I was playing. That was your face, Sean. necklace too. Alright. Let's go ahead and put on these boosters. And I think that's all we really needed. Okay, so I need to be level 15 to get to that. So let's go ahead and get back and let's see what else has changed since we're playing as. Not a closer, but as one of the. Vulture 4. This is not in communication. I have an order for you. That woman over there was a Dr. June. Dr. Jun had asked the Vulture Court to test out a new tool that was developed. I don't like that we have to waste time on something useless while we are doing our work, but it wouldn't be good for the Vulture Court to ignore a request from the Union right now. So go and cooperate with her. That's it, over and out. Alright, let's go ahead and get back to work. Let's go ahead and You must be disposed of from the Vulture Court. You say your name is Lydia, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Jun of the Department of Technology. I developed tools that are helpful. The Vulture Corp and the Union have a cooperation agreement, so I'll be supporting you and your team with technical stuff. Yes, I will do my best to help Dr. Jun. Let's get straight to the point. Are you by any chance interested in pets? P pets? I'm sorry, I never had one. Now you can. My department at the Union has developed a new support robot for closers. In short, it's a robot that grows. And this prototype is shaped like a pet animal to make it more appealing to the users. That's why the developers are calling it a pet. There will be a wider variety of pets later on. Pets are produced here at the lab in egg form. From these eggs, hatchlings are born and they go on to their adult form. They are the ultimate and nanite based egg droids. Equipped with self learning AI, their looks and behavior improve as they bond with their owner's strippings. And the rest as we read last time. <laughs> so if you want to read it again, or you didn't see it, or you didn't watch the previous playlist, which is for my character. Then I just need to help you grow them. Yes, the Vulture Corp is also interested in it. I want to ask for your cooperation. Pets programmed to grow in response to us on its phase force waves. Only as phase users can raise a pet. That's why I was looking for a phase user to help out. Here, take this prototype pet A. I hope it'll help you carry out your missions. Please take good care of it. I'll probably need your help again if we develop more new technology. I get to ha have a pet? Thank you so much. All right. And as we know, we've read this, and we know how to get to them, because we have to go to our inventory, we have to go to the consumables, and then we open that, then after we do that, we equip the pet, <coughs> and 
Now we're good. Alright, now that we actually equipped it this time, we can actually get a lot more experience than last time. Like this really somber music helps with the story of the fact that pretty much we're a tool. <laughs> we're a tool for amazing. Good job completing your first mission. Good job. I hope you you'll keep following my stresses like this. <laughs> it's a good. The robot starts to collect the remains of the dim dimensional monster you took care of. We can let them handle that and move on to another area to collect more remains. A device called a phase force suppressor, which prevents the appearance of dimension gates, is installed near here. A while ago, some dimensional monster showed up near, and the Black Lions responded to the situation. Uh, do you mind if you? I ask a question. I thought dimensional monsters come to this world through dimensional gates. And these monsters showed up next to the device that's supposed to stop dimensional gates? What does that mean? Maybe the device is broken. Nothing the union makes lasts very long. The vulture is the best when it comes to phase gear. Oh, I see. Thank you for explaining, Supervisor Shia. Anyway, there are a few dimensional monsters still roaming around the suppressor. There are probably remains of dead dimensional monsters there, too. I'd like you to go there and round up the remnants, but before that, you'll have to acquire a pass from the closer who is currently in charge of the safety of Gangnam. I already told him about us, so you should have a, shouldn't have a problem getting it, but you'll be dealing with the closer from the union. Please try not to cause any trouble. Now, please go to rank A closer Kitai Kim, who is currently in charge of the safety of Gangnam, and receive a pass. <laughs> Don't talk to me, I'm a very busy person. Mm. What are you? <laughs> Whoever you are, this place is too dangerous for you. This place isn't completely clear to dimensional monsters yet. How about I take you to a civilian shelter? Come with me. It's okay, I'm not a civilian. I'm Levy, a supporter of the Wolf Dogs, a disposal unit in Bochico. What? Wait. Are you the dimensional monster that single handedly wiped out an entire disposal unit? Right? Oh, jeez, why do you have to look like us? That's creepy. I'm sorry, is that I look like you? Don't act so submissive. I know you're only doing that to make me let my guard down. That's also how you wiped out the disposal, didn't you? Couldn't have beaten those phase users or any other way. No, that's not... No. Shut up. Dimensional monsters aren't supposed to talk like us humans. Just so you know, I'm a rank A agent. A weak dimensional monster like you can never beat me. So don't try anything stupid. You just do as your commander says. Got it? Yes, Agent Kitai. What did I tell you? I said you aren't supposed to speak. Well, all right, you're here for a pass, right? Sure, I can give it to you. But you will have to take it with your mouth, not with your hand. Animals like you aren't supposed to use your hands like that, you know. <laughs> You've received a pass from the union agent? You don't have to hold your pass in your mouth anymore, Olivia. You may also speak now. Thank you, trainer, you must have seen. I was watching you through the cuckoo. Now you know how we humans feel about you and your ilk. So it's in your best interest not to make us angry and to obey us at all times. But that doesn't mean you have to give up your dignity. My dignity? I don't need prideful jerks on my team, but I don't want my men to have low self-esteem either. Those who don't love themselves don't care even if they die. They don't make good operatives. I've seen a lot of them and I've taken care of all of them. Rest assured, trainer, that I've committed to my missions. And I need to atone for all those I've killed. You're more compatible, compliable than any other my, any other of my men. And you're not even a human. Good. Remain obedient to me and the supervisor, and I spare your life. Now let me brief you on your next mission. So so far we've seen that simply because she's of a race that invades, they don't like her. Which honestly I can understand. Because, um, my people hated white people. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to sound racist or anything, but my ancestors did a, like, Caucasians because they attacked us. You know. And we kind of held the grudge for like 150 years.
I'll hold a grudge though. Like I, I really couldn't care. Let bygones be bygones. It's only if they um if someone starts fucking with you recently, that's when you gotta fuck them up. So you know, communication reception is good. Let's start the briefing. Now that you have your pass, you can enter the residential area where the supervisor is installed. The next mission is to round up the remnants of dimensional monsters here. As soon as you're done, Vuxco will send some robots to collect their remains. So go to Yolk some more and round up the remnants of dimensional monsters. <laughs> now, with this character, I'm thinking of not having help. Just so I can get used to the controls for this character. So that last attack which comes from behind. I'm gonna actually attack those that's behind you. that off as long as you have okay so that's very useful <laughs> we got the troll bastard which we fought before Oh wait, recording halted. What? But Mark, Mar oh wait, is it recording in the game, or is that something that happens on this? I, th I thought it was my OBS at first until I realized that it had the um. It had the frame of this game, and I was like, no, it's not OBS. <laughs> you stand before... Huh? You're better than I thought. But then, it's pretty easy to attack someone while they let their guard down, thinking you're one of them. Well, whatever, I need you anyway. Don't go anywhere, listen carefully. Asshole. Don't talk... I want you to do something for me, Dimensional Monster. See the card over there? Its owner is a woman, and she's quite attractive. She was asked to leave by the special unit commander who came here with me, but I sent that captain somewhere else. It wasn't hard. I just used my connections with the higher-ups. In other words, I'm the sole reason she's still running her business here. You're very generous, Kitai. 
Didn't I tell you not to talk? Shut up and let's keep looking. Anyway, I've helped her. She keeps turning me down. I think she needs a reality check. I want you to keep, go threaten her and to take her cart someplace. So, and then I'll go. I'll show up and save her from you. She'll be so grateful that she'll do anything I ask. So go tell her that you'll destroy her cart if she doesn't move. Got it? So you want me to lie? But I don't want to lie. Don't act like a saint. You're a dimensional monster. Just shut up and do as I say. Got it? Yes, Katai. Just do as I say. I'll follow you soon. <laughs> Found a Fox Foods cart. Hey, we have lots of delicious goodies. Welcome to Fox Foods cart. Ah, oh, let me guess. You're also a closer, like the Black Lambs, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Suzanne. I own this food cart. Nice to meet you, Suzanne. I have something important to tell you. Do you know a man, Kitai Kim? Oh, yes. He's the closer who said I can stay and run my business here. I'm thankful that he lets me stay, but I don't like that he keeps making passes at me. He asked me to lie to you. He wants me to pretend to threaten you. Then he was going to show up and save you from me. I think he's desperate to impress you. I, I see, but um, are you sure you can tell me that? What if he finds out? It's okay. I just don't want to lie to you. Now, excuse me, Suzanne. Hey, wait. What's your name? You can call me Livia. Thank you for the warning, Livia. I hope I can see you again. You got me like that.